An interesting pattern in the Top Cigar of the Year awards has developed over time. See if you can figure it out. Hello, cigar enthusiasts. Cigar Aficionado magazine was started back in 1992 and has grown to an estimated monthly readership of 1 million readers and a YouTube channel with 117,000 subscribers. In 2004, the magazine started its yearly top 25 cigars list. Although there are many other such lists out there, the one created by Cigar Aficionado is considered the standard of the industry and referenced most often. Here is a list of the top cigar for each of the 20 past years, from 2004 until 2023. A pattern has emerged, and I'll tell you what that is at the end of the video. The first Cigar of the Year was awarded in 2004 to the Padron Siri 1926 40th Anniversary. This is a Nicaraguan cigar that offers a complex blend of flavors. It is known for its balance and aroma, with strong notes of chocolate, espresso, and leather, and a sweeter edge than other cigars in the series. It received a respectable 93 points. In 2005, the Fuente Fuente Opus X Double Corona was voted Best Cigar and received 95 points. This Dominican cigar is celebrated for its full-bodied flavors that include leather and earth, complemented by an essential sweetness typical of strong cigars. Its finish is rich and satisfying, making it a favorite among aficionados. The Bolivar Royal Corona is a Cuban classic, offering a robust and full-flavored smoking experience. It is characterized by its earthy core, with nuances of nuts and coffee beans, providing a well-rounded and traditional taste profile. In 2006, it received 94 points from Cigar Aficionado. In 2007, the Padron Siri 1926 repeated their success three years earlier with the number nine, a Nicaraguan cigar that stands out for its extra aging, resulting in a slightly thicker wrapper and more strength. It is considered sweeter than its counterparts with a rich and exclusive flavor profile and received an astounding 97 points. 2008 saw the rise of a Nicaraguan puro, the Casa Magna Colorado Robusto, known for its exceptional balance of flavor and aroma. It delivers a medium to full-bodied smoke with a smooth and complex character and stood proud with 93 points and a first place rating. 2009 saw the third time that the Padron family took top spot with their reserve number 45 Maduro. This Nicaraguan cigar is a full-strength masterpiece radiating with the notes of chocolate, espresso, and leather. The Padron Family Reserve No. 45 Maduro is a testament to perfection and a must-have for serious cigar enthusiasts and received 95 points. The 2010 top spot went to the Cohiba Hike BHK 52, a Cuban cigar that is highly sought after for its exclusivity and rich flavor profile. It features a blend of the finest tobaccos, offering a luxurious smoking experience with a complex array of flavors, and for this, received a very nice 97 points. In 2011, Alec Bradley's Prensado Churchill was awarded the top spot. Hailing from Honduras, this cigar is renowned for its bold and sweet initial flavors that transition into a bold and spicy profile. It is a well-crafted cigar that provides a memorable smoking experience and was rewarded with a 96 score. 2012 saw the top spot go to one of my favorite cigar makers, my father's cigars. The Flor de las Antillas Toro is a Nicaraguan cigar praised for its creamy nougat, white pepper, coffee, and cedar notes. It is a medium full strength cigar that envelops the taste buds with its rich flavors and received a rating of 96 points. Monte Cristo No. 2 is a Cuban cigar known for its stately appearance and substantial flavor profile and took top honors in 2013. This cigar is less common than some other Cuban cigars, but offers a solid core of earthy flavors, nuts, and coffee beans, and also received 96 points. We're at the halfway point, and since you're still here, you must be enjoying the information. Do me a favor and subscribe right now. Thank you. In 2014, the Oliva Siri Fi Milanio Figurado, a Nicaraguan cigar that delivers a medium-bodied smoke, took the top spot. With notes of fruit, coffee, roasted nuts, and a hint of black pepper, it is recognized for its consistent combustion and classic aromas. Very respectable 96-point rating. Very respectable 96. 
2015 saw the second time for my father cigars with their Le Bijou 1922 torpedo box pressed. This Nicaraguan cigar is bold and very sweet upon first light, with a profile that changes to bold and spicy. The My Father Le Bijou 1922 Torpedo Box Pressed is characterized by its Criollo and Habano tobacco flavors and received a very nice 97 points. 2016's top honors go to the La Flor Dominicana Andalusian Bowl, which is a Dominican cigar that offers a dynamite smoke. It is a complex powerhouse with full-bodied flavors of leather and earth and a finish that includes the essential sweetness found in the best of strong cigars. This one received 96 points from Cigar Aficionado. Arturo Fuentes' Don Carlos Eye of the Shark took the top spot in 2017. This stick is known for its high consistency and smooth, naturally sweet tobacco blends. This Dominican cigar provides a unique smoking experience with its distinct flavor profile and received 97 points. In 2018, a well-respected cigar maker with a long history, E.P. Carrillo, took the top spot with his Encore Majestic Stick. This Dominican cigar is recognized for its intriguing complexities and a harmonious blend of rich flavors. It offers notes of sweet cedar, nuts, and spices, supported by a creamy feel, making it an elegant and memorable smoke. Rated at 96 points. It's 2019, and the Aging Room Cuatro Nicaragua Maestro took top honors with 96 points. The Aging Room Cuatro Nicaragua Maestro provides a bold and deeply satisfying smoke with tones of dark chocolate, roasted coffee beans, and black pepper. Its Nicaraguan origins lended a strong yet nuanced profile. 2020 saw the first time a top cigar is awarded 98 points. That honor went to E.P. Carrillo Pledge Prequel. This stick is a well-balanced cigar with a synergy of cocoa, espresso, and woodsy notes. It delivers a full-bodied experience emblematic of the finest Dominican blends, leaving a lasting and rich aftertaste. In 2021, the Padron 1964. Anniversary Series Torpedo is celebrated for its cocoa, earthy undertones, and nutty flavors, enveloped in a smooth, natural Nicaraguan wrapper. Perfect for those seeking a not-too-heavy, well-aged smoking experience. It took top spot with a rating of 97 points. The year is 2022, and the H. Upman No. 2 exudes classic Cuban craftsmanship with its distinct earthy qualities intertwined with touches of spice, cedar, and cream. A robust cigar that carries the iconic aromas associated with Cuban soil. This marked the second time a cigar received 98 points. And the most recent recipient is 2023's Fuente Fuente Opus X Reserva de Chateau. This is a full-bodied Dominican masterpiece, offering leathery and spicy tastes balanced by a subtle sweetness with hints of baking spice, nutmeg, and vanilla. This Churchill-sized cigar received a rating of 97 and has a retail price of around 20 bucks US. So here they are, the best cigars over the past 20 years. How many have you tried? Let me know in the comments. I promised that we saw a pattern in the top cigars. Do you see it? Let me give you a hint. It has to do with the points awarded. Looking at it closer, the first five cigars from 2004 to 2008 received an average score of 94.4. The most recent five, meanwhile, received a score of 97.2, nearly three points higher. So the question seems to be, is the scoring getting softer or are the cigars getting better? I hope it's the latter and we will soon see some perfect scores. What do you think? Please let us know in the comments below. Here's a fun fact. Nearly half of the winners came out of Nicaragua with the Dominican Republic in second place. Bonus fun fact, the Dominican Republic is now the largest producer of cigars in the world, eclipsing Cuba. If you enjoyed this video, please do two things. Hit the subscribe button and watch the next video, which has been selected especially for you. Until next time, put some smoke in the air.